The way Jalen Brunson is playing right now for the New York Knicks is on a whole nother level. He is putting up MVP type numbers. Now, we have people asking, should Jalen Brunson be an all-star? That conversation needs to end. Jalen Brunson is an all-star. He should be an all-star starter this year. Last year, in my opinion, he got snubbed. But this year, he's on a mission. He's on a whole nother mission. I mean, he wants to be an all-star. He wants to be all-NBA. And the way he has simply carried the Knicks this season has been incredible. I mean, just look at these numbers. Over his last eight games, he's averaging 30 and a half points per game to go along with 7.8 assists per game. That's another thing. Since the OG and Anobi trade, his assist numbers have been up. But since RJ Barrett and quickly went to Toronto, Jalen Brunson's assist numbers are up 51.8% from the field and 41% from three. And the New York Knicks are seven and one in those games. Now the New York Knicks have a new life since acquiring OG and Anobi. Before the trade, it was, you know, not looking that great for the New York Knicks as a team. But since acquiring OG and Anobi, players have played well. OG and Anobi fit like a glove. The New York Knicks are currently 9-2 and two with OG and Anobi in the lineup. And yes, they're not solely 9-2 and two simply based on the fact that they just acquired OG and Anobi and they're 9-2. and two. But look, other factors have to factor into it as well. Julius Randle's playing well. Like I just stated, Jalen Brunson's playing at a whole nother level. And OG Ananobi has fit like a glove. He has the highest plus minus in his first 11 games acquired by a new team ever. That's how great OG Ananobi has been for this team. And look, the head of the snake for the New York Knicks is Jalen Brunson. If teams can't stop Jalen Brunson, then you're going to have a tough night beating the New York Knicks as a team. The thing that's impressing me about Jalen Brunson this year is his three-point shooting. You know, every single year, it seems like he's improving his three-point shot. This year, he's shooting above 43% from the field, and he's shooting 51% from corner threes. And his mid-range jump shot is automatic, 48% from mid-range, and, you know, short mid-range, 49%. Efficiency field goal percent is 54%. So he is getting it done on all fronts for the New York Knicks. Now, since RJ Barrett and Emmanuel quickly left, they went to Toronto, Jalen Brunson's usage has gone up it was before about 25 percent prior to the trade now it is at 30 percent so he is being used a lot and for good reason he is a star he is a superstar he is a stud forget all that 1a talk you can build your team around Jalen Brunson with what what exactly essentially what the New York Knicks are doing currently they're getting you know they're they're putting in the pieces in the starting five and they're building a complete team they're just missing that one punch off the bench that one bench piece off the bench and I feel like you know they'll answer that sooner rather than later but his usage 30 percent and Julius Randle's usage has shot up as well his usage is now 29 percent OG and Obi's usage is at 13 percent so to put that in perspective RJ Barrett when he was here his usage was 26 percent so you subtract about 10 percent you you know divide that from DiVincenzo to a Grimes to a Hart to more of so of a Jalen Brunson to a Julius Randle this is where you're getting these you know elite numbers nine and two over our last 11 games nine and two with OG and Anobi on the court Brunson is averaging 30 points in his last five or six seven games I mean he's just playing on a whole nother level so this year 2024 it should be the first year Jalen Brunson makes the all-star team and I can make a case that he should be in the MVP conversation Yes, I kind of want to start those talks, you know, I know you guys probably think I'm a little biased because I'm a Nick fan, but look, MVP, most valuable player, he is the most valuable player on the New York Knicks when he is not on the court, we've seen it last week, the New York Knicks looked like a totally different team and he has simply carried us from last year until this year, last year in the playoffs, he was the man knocking out the Cleveland Cavaliers, almost knocking out the Miami Heat. He just needed a little bit more help. And this season alone, almost averaging 30 a game, the best point guard in the Eastern Conference right now, as we speak, you know, he is. Whether they say that he was overpaid when the New York Knicks signed him a couple of years ago, we've seen a lot of that. But I think he has shut the door on that because there was a lot of skepticism when the New York Knicks signed him. Why did they sign him to that massive deal? What did they see in him? No, I like it. I obviously, I think there was a bit of an overpay for Jalen Brunson, but certainly he is a high, high, high level role player. How do you grade what the Knicks did there? <laughs> it's a straight D plus. I, it, it really is. It's well, he came to New York and now he's simply dominating night in night out and you know the main thing that you can't quantify with Jalen Brunson is his heart you know you can't put that on the stat sheet he's a dog he's a typical New Yorker he gets it done he has that fire he has that passion 
We've seen it last year in the playoffs. We've seen it to start this year. He's fired up. He's screaming at the fans. Fans just chanting MVP when he's at the free throw line almost every single night. He has embraced Madison Square Garden. The New York Knicks fans have embraced him because he has been the New York Knicks best point guard since, I don't know. Starks. You have Stefan Bondi here saying that Brunson is the best point guard since Clyde Frazier. So throw out whatever name. That's how good Jalen Brunson has been. You know, Stefan Marbury, John Starks. You can argue Jalen Brunson has been better, if not on par with them. Maybe we're the prisoner of the moment, but I just, he's been amazing. And what have we been waiting for forever now as Knicks fans? A point guard. Before Jalen Brunson came here, the New York Knicks fans we're screaming for a point guard. We went through so many point guards. I don't want to read you the names because they're just, they, they just give me nightmares. But I'm just saying that since way back when, a decade now, until now, present day, January 21st, 2024, we now have a point guard who is just entering his prime and his prime that we can build around. And it's what the New York Knicks are currently doing at this moment. They're building around Jalen Brunson. And we can see that as well. They're bringing in his boys. They brought in Josh Hart. They brought in Dante DiVincenzo. And they're not just bringing his boys in just because, you know, they're Jalen Brunson's boys. Let's satisfy Brunson, blah, blah, blah. I mean, Josh Hart has made an impact ever since he was acquired. Dante DiVincenzo has been amazing for us this season, shooting above 50% from corner threes, 40% from three. He has fit like a glove in the starting lineup as well. So these players complement Jalen Brunson well. It's, it's almost like... There's a reason why they won national championships in Villanova. It's because these guys are ballers. And you throw in OG Ananobi in the mix, a hard-nosed defender. The New York Knicks have the best defense since acquiring OG Ananobi. You throw him in the mix, and he could score, he could shoot, he can, you know, defend one-on-one, -on -one, help defense. He can do, do it all, man. Yes, he's playing heavy minutes, but like I said, I think the New York Knicks will address that. I think they will address something at the trading deadline. Also due to the fact that we need someone to spell Jalen Brunson because right now, you know, Miles McBride has sort of hit a wall a little bit. But in my opinion, if the New York Knicks were to get that someone to spell Brunson 10, 15 minutes, so Brunson's not playing heavy minutes, so he's not burnt out by the playoffs, then then it's it's lookout. Seriously. Then it's lookout. If we get that extra bench punch, if we get that extra bench piece, then we can start the engines. Because I this ceiling for the New York Knicks team, who knows? Two games away from the Eastern Conference Finals last year. The ceiling is the roof. Totally different team now. The proof is in the pudding. We see it in the numbers. Jalen Brunson, definitely an all-star. Should be considered for an MVP candidate. Not saying he should win, but he should be considered. Why not? Because he's simply amazing. So I know most of you guys share the same sentiment that I share about Jalen Brunson. This dude is a warrior. Just let me know what your feeling is around this New York Knicks team right now. What you're feeling around Jalen Brunson. Things are looking up for the New York Knicks, and I'm just happy. I'm proud. And as always, it is Let's Go Knicks. Times are great. Vibes are great. OG's great. Brunson is amazing. I'll catch you out in the next video. I'm Anthony from Knicks Nation. Hey, if you're new here, just subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.